The European Union has placed financial sanctions on the Eritrean government for its involvement in the war in Tigray, Ethiopia. Human rights violations have been reported there by a number of media outlets and international monitoring organizations. The EU has also blacklisted Eritrea's National Security Office, issuing a statement reading, the National Security Office is responsible for serious human rights violations in Eritrea and particularly arbitrary arrests, extrajudicial killings, and forced disappearances of persons and torture. The document was issued after the 27 EU foreign ministers agreed to the penalties. The response from Osmara was swift, calling the charges trumped up. The official line from Eritrea continued, the EU has been doggedly working to save and bring back to power the defunct TPLF clique and to undermine the region's own efforts to address challenges and advance comprehensive and durable cooperation. The EU has particularly targeted Eritrea in a futile attempt to drive a wedge between Eritrea and Ethiopia. The sanctions will amount to an asset freeze in EU countries. It will also prevent investors and creditors from sending money to Eritrea. And Eritreans involved in the government and security forces will be banned from traveling to most of Europe. Without proper investigations in the Ethiopian province, no one knows whether hundreds, thousands, or even tens of thousands have died there. Atrocities have been blamed on Eritrean and some ethnic Asmaran troops. U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken has cited ethnic cleansing occurring in the province. ADN-TV will continue to update you on diplomatic moves to change the situation in Ethiopia.